How do you take critique, negative feedback? You feel frustrated or angry or sad or hurt whenever somebody gives you some critique or negative feedback? I get it. I get it, but it's not necessary because if you know one thing, one thing only that you can apply right away, you can not feel hurt and move forward and feel good about yourself and just forget about it. You need to remember this one thing that I'm going to share in this video, but I get it. It's not always easy. You know, you have a friend, you ask her out for lunch or go to the beach and, and she says no, or he says no. And then the next day you go to, to social media. And then what happens is you see uh, him or her with other friends at the beach having lunch, You're like, duh, what's wrong with me? Why didn't she want to go with me? Why am I not good enough? Why am I not worth it? And all of these thoughts and you just feel so bad within yourself, right? How do you deal with it when you work so hard for a presentation and, and, and then suddenly you present it and you're like, nah, you know, that's not so good. And maybe you can change that and maybe this and maybe that. And like, oh no, I didn't do well enough. I'm not good enough. That's not good. I'm not, you know, the others are better than me, right? How do you deal with critique? I want to tell you all about that. And it's really short and it's really simple and I just want you to know this, all right? So first things first, really quickly, super easy. I want you to remember to subscribe to my channel, that red button, so you don't miss any of my new videos on Wednesday. It's always value packed with tips and tricks to help you create the life that you want. You want to be that freedompreneur just like I did. I quit my job, I made a plan, and I'm living in these amazing locations. And this is not a backdrop, this is real. So I want to help you create that life for yourself. And that's what all my videos are about. So moving forward, how do you deal with critique? First of all, I'm going to tell you why you get hurt. Second of all, what's really the key thing to remember, and then what you actually can do about it. Okay. So why do you feel so hurt and frustrated when somebody's critiquing you, giving you negative feedback, saying something that like, ah, you're not good and this is not good and your presentation was bad and, and I don't want this and no, right? You take it personal. You get hurt if you take it personal, all right? It's only because you take things personal. If a small child is like, is, is, is about to go to bed and, and he doesn't want to go to bed and the mom is yelling like, oh, you know, you need to go to bed. And the small kid is like, oh, mom, you're a bad mom. Seriously? Is that a bad mom? No, it's not about the bad mom. It's about the child who's tired, who's, you know, giving this critique and just rashing out, right? It's not about being a bad mom at all. But if you feel like a bad mom, if you feel like a bad person because of a critique, because of somebody yelling at you, because of somebody saying something negative, it's because you take it personal, right? But here's the key thing to remember, to not take it personal. People usually say these things not against you, but because there's something for them. It's not about you, it's about them. If you can remember that, that's the key, key, key. And I will explain this a bit more, but it's not about you, it's about them. If if they had a really long day and they're very, you know, things happen and everything and they just wanna lash out and they come home at night and they just, you're the first person inside and they just lash on, they get angry and it's, it's not about you at all. It's about him having the, you know, him or her having a bad day and just lashing out all on you. But if you take that personal, you get hurt. So remember that most of the time, it's not about you. It's about them. Or there's something in it for them. Or they want something, you know, there's always something in it for them, right? Because the truth is, people don't care so much about you but they always care about them, something they need, something they want, and it's always about that. Or they feel terrible, they feel negative, they feel miserable, and misery loves company, and they just want to take you into their miserable feeling. That can happen too, right? But again, it's not about you, it's about them, right? Or some people feeling envious and jealous and they, they want what you have and they can't have it so they will give you negative feedback or critique so that 
you might stop it because they don't want you to have it. It's like that, you know, that crab mentality. I can't have it, so I don't want you to have it, right? I don't know if you watched that crab um, video I made, but about the crabs holding you back, you know, the crab family, the crab bucket. It's, it's a great video, by the way. I'll put the link right below in the description. But again, it's another reason so that you understand it's not about you. Don't take things personal. It's not about you at all. However, I want to go a little step deeper. Why are you taking it personal? If you're feeling hurt or angry, it means you're taking things personal because somebody said something to you. I want you to ask yourself, why are you taking it personal? Is it because in the past something said something similar to you and really hurt you and now you hear the same words and you're hurt again? Is it because something happened in the past? I want you to think a bit deeper, why is that specific comment hurting you so much? What happened in the past? Is that going to happen again in the future? I want you to sometimes wonder, why are you letting yourself being hurt? Why are you taking that personal? Is it because you really don't feel worthy? Is it because you really don't feel good enough? Is it because you, you need some more confidence? Ask yourself, why? Why am I feeling so hurt? And detach yourself a moment from that critique and ask yourself that question. And then maybe decide that it's time to let it go. Maybe something happened in the past, maybe it's time to let it go. You know, we always hold on to that banana, that monkey mind, that's the video I made with that banana. You know, it's like, what are you holding on to? Maybe it's time to let that go, right? So it's good to just separate yourself a little bit from the critique and analyze that for yourself and then decide for yourself, is that something I can let go of and move forward? It's always, for me, it's always about moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, and don't dwell in the past, okay? You're living now and your future is there, so move forward, right? The last thing I wanna mention about this is that we are automatically always creating stories in our minds and what do i mean by that is that you know when when somebody's like you know you cross the street right and it happened to me many times and i used to be so affected by it and i'll give you the example because it happened to me a lot is like whether you at work or in class or um at some um social event and you're sitting at a table and across of you or on another table there's or maybe colleagues at work they're looking at you like, you know, they look up, they look at you and suddenly they start laughing or you're walking in the street and on the other side, there's like two people and they look at you and they laugh really loud. I mean, years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with me. I'm, I'm not dressed well. My hair is not well. I'm not looking good. And it just completely ruined my day. I took it so personal. Why? Why did I do that? Because I wasn't feeling good enough. I wasn't feeling confident enough. And so I took it personal, but I learned to do these mind shifts all the time and to create another story in my mind, because what do you really know what they're laughing about? So right now I'm thinking, oh, they must be talking about their, their night last night and they had a great time or colleagues. Oh, they're probably telling a joke. He's always telling jokes, but it's not about me. It's all their story. So I'm changing the story in my mind and I want you to do the same. Like if you feel hurt by a comment or by a remark or by somebody laughing, wait a minute, what story are you telling yourself? And ask yourself, is that story true? Like if I would think that somebody was laughing about me, that I was wrong, that I was doing something wrong, I was looking wrong, I was not good enough, that was my story. So I'm changing the story. So can you change the story? Can you think about something else? If somebody says no, she doesn't, or he doesn't want to go on a date with you, he doesn't want to go out with you, or he doesn't show up, or he doesn't call you, I stop feeling like, oh, you know, they don't want to call me, they don't want me, I'm not good enough. No, maybe something happened. Maybe they had to attend a family member. Maybe um, they got so busy in, in their project, they forgot. Maybe I'm putting myself in their shoes. I'm creating other stories, but the stories that I'm creating now are not about me. And that's what I want you to do. Analyze the stories you're making up in your mind. And it's not about you. Remember what I first said? The key thing to remember that most people don't say things against you. 
but for them. It's about them. It's not about you. Will you please remember that? And please subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week to help you create the future that you desire. The freedompreneur, be an entrepreneur, start your online business, make the steps, create the steps, do the steps, take the steps, move forward. And below in the comments and in the description, I will put the link to book a call with me if you're ready, if you're ambitious like me and you just don't know where to start and you want to take steps to create that future, to create your online business, to say goodbye to your boss, book a call with me. I'm happy to help you. So I'll see you next week.